In this tutorial, I will show you how we can use control points in reality capture to create more completed 3D models of archaeology sites. The data we, we will be using is a site in Peru with the photographs provided by Professor Paul Goldstein at the University of California, San Diego. These photographs were taken back in 2003, right around the time digital cameras were being used in excavations. As you can see, these cameras were pointed overhead as well as in different angles. When I first started on my workflow in reality capture by aligning images and landing a process, it actually created two components of the same site with each missing parts from one another. For example, this component 17, and this one used the overhead cameras, and this other component used the cameras pointed at different angles. To have one single component that uses more camera poses, we can merge these two components by adding control points to our model. Luckily for this site, there are many nails placed around the site that we can use as control points. To place control points, go to the alignment tab and click add control points. Now when we hover over our 3D data, it will show how many cameras were recognized and pointed in the same direction. We could view our 2D data while doing this. Click on, a new, on another layout. Now when we hover over, we can see where the camera is predicting where the control point is. For point two, for example, it's pointing at this nail over here. And for point one, it's pointing to this nail over here. We could also use other features of the site to create control points, not just nails. Maybe there's similar rocks between images. So if I zoom in here, I'm gonna find a corner that seems to have the most cameras pointed using these white lines. Uh, let's choose this one. So this one created point 24. Deselect add control points. Now we will see all the images that are suggested. And we can confirm it on the 2D data on the right. And we could click approve and go to the other images. And that's right. And if we do need to correct it, we could go over the control point and drag it where we want it. Even in this angle all the way over here, it recognizes the point is over here. But let's move this over here. For this picture, we actually don't have point zero, which is this nail here, identified on, on this picture. We could actually do this by going to add control points, click point zero, and drag over here, and that little plus sign, just click it. And now this one will be added to the point zero. Same thing with point one here. But if we just click it here, it's going to add it to the point zero. So make sure you're on the right control point, point one. And now it's added to the list of points. I added about 24 control points. It was important for this site in particular because there weren't many photographs taken. I felt that this was enough control points and I clicked align images again. With a new component created using the control points, it created a more completed model by also including this L structure over here, as well as this room. And it used a total of 139 cameras compared to the two separate components I used less. 
And now I can move on to the next steps of my workflow. With this model already in normal detail, I could do an unwrap, texturing, and filtering. With the final model complete, there are still some improvements we can make, such as some of the walls not being completed on this side, and also some of the textures being stretched. But there are limits. For example, in this corner here, the reason this was stretched was because there was no camera pointed in this direction. There was a control point that I added here, which I could show here, point 18. As you can see, there is no camera pointed on this side of the wall, in this corner over here. The lighting on the pictures also had some issues, with shadows being shown in the final model along this line over here. And that's okay. The main idea of this project, in particular, is to show how even if 3D reconstruction of the site wasn't the main task during the excavation, we can use we could still use the tools in reality capture to repurpose this legacy data. In the next tutorial, I will show you how I geo-reference this site in reality capture and in RGIS Pro using Google Earth Pro.